extremely busy. Even though I'm surprised you aren't sitting no. up with your feet up somewhere I used to on the have beach. Hair. Do you remember? Yeah. <laughs> well, I do remember. You used to have a moustache <laughs> as well, didn't you? Exactly. There you go. <laughs> right, so what are, what are we cooking? Okay, we're doing these pot stickers, which are uh, really a New Year's treat. You know, it comes from the north of China. Right. And what they, we start out with is it's just a little bit of plain flour. That's right. really important because we'll make the wrappers. Now, this is like a little dumpling. You want to get some It's like a little dumpling. Right. Some hot water. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll just mix this together. And what they do in uh, northern China is it's so cold like here, <laughs> and what they will do is make these dumplings and put them outside on the shelf. Right. And the whole family would sit around, you know, stuffing the dumplings, and then the family comes around and they all cook them and eat them, hundreds of them. This and is very traditional Chinese very, New Year food. Exactly, right. especially for the uh, northern Chinese. I, right. Even though I'm Cantonese, this is one of my favorites because of the way um, it's made. Now, you can see I put the flour and I mix the hot water in, yeah. which is quite unusual, and there's no fat or seasoning. So it's so unlike it's we've got a thing called hot water paste, which right. is where they make sort of the pork pies, which right. is hot water, but they use salt and bits and pieces. There's nothing else in there at all? There's just... nothing else in there. What you do is you take that, you grab this. It's very hot, but that's all right. Um, and you just mix this together and knead until it's smooth. But it takes on a totally different flavour as well, doesn't it? it, this, this it well, texture. actually, because the, the filling is what you want to be tasting. Yeah. And you want this to be tough enough so that it can cook and, and brown for a long time. Now, you want to just gather this up and, and get this really nice and smooth. Okay. Okay. There you go. Right. Okay. okay. Got that. That's, that's fine. And then, once you've got it smooth, yep. you I'll need to let it first. sit for about um, 20 minutes, okay? All right. Because the thing is, the gluten has to sort of settle down. Okay. So you need it that's literally for about five, six minutes. Yes, that, exactly. Yeah. Gather this all up. Yeah. And once that's done. I'll bring that Okay. And yep. we have some that's been sitting. There you go. There's one that I made earlier. Now, this, if, if people are interested, <laughs> you told us in rehearsal, this is where you get your pancakes from yes. Crispy Duck from. It's the same sort of formula when we right. eat, eat, do the pancakes. Now, um, you're going to help me make some of this later. Yeah. <laughs> so, what we want to do is just take the dough. It's nice and smooth now. Uh, add some more flour. But if you to wanted this. to take this recipe and do your, literally, people wanted to try making their own pancakes for crispy duck. Yes. You, what would you do? Well, you just roll it out. Fry them. You know, you, you uh, roll it out and just put it in a hot, dry wok right. without anything in it. And you just roll it like a log like this. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to sort of cut them into very small portions. Now, once that's done, we'll make our, our filling here. Yep. Okay. Now you break these all up. And now the yes. filling for this, you can vary the fillings. I mean, you've got pork, minced pork in here. Is that the standard? I mean, that's really the traditional way of uh, cooking this, is, is to use pork on this. But yeah. um, you can add things like prawns if you wish. And it's important to add a little bit of vegetables. In yeah. fact, uh, here we're just using uh, bok choy. You can use all sorts of cabbage. You know, in northern China, especially at this time of the year, you have cabbage. People even have cabbage under their beds what? because that's the way to store it because it's nice <laughs> and cold. <laughs> yeah. Are you taking the mick or what? No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> We have a little bit of... Uh, the bed in Scotland. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Soy sauce. I'll call your wife now. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, well, Jimmy, do you ever try Chinese food? Because, in essence, it's... I've never, ever made it. This is fascinating, yes, watching Chinese But I bet he likes Chinese food. I love Chinese Everybody food. does. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of um, uh, sherry or rice wine. And some of your ginger. Ginger. Thank you. More? Oh. Okay, yeah. There you go. It's, uh, so we've got ginger. Some we've got salt yeah. and pepper. Okay, let's mix that up, and we'll be able to stuff this. Right. Okay. And actually, some touch of uh, sesame oil I'll move here that as away well. Thank you very much. So always okay. the filling's raw, yeah? Yes. Okay. Always the filling raw because we're going to cook this for quite a long time, okay. and as you can see, it smells quite good. I'll get a spoon. spoon. For you for that. And we have a rolling pin. And I rolling pin's there for you. Yeah. Okay. There, there good. You go. Lovely. So what you want to do with this is. And I'll give you some to work on as well. Thank you. Now, remember what I was telling you. You know, families do this together. And so you sit around and you sort of catch up on what's been happening with the year. And, you know, people gossip and um, all sorts of things while they, they make these uh, uh, dumplings. And what year is it now? What, what well, it's year the year of in? the ox, which is my year. Year of the ox, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. which is your year. But you know, it's uh, with all the things that are happening, the year of the ox is apparently very, very good because uh, um, 
you know, besides having uh, the new savior that will save all of us, uh, uh, the ox is supposed to be very good for um, instability because we're quite right. stable and we need people like oxes to cook and right. to make everybody feel good again. So yeah. you just make these, you can make them as big as you want. Okay. So you get just okay. literally just grab a little bit of this yeah, filling. Yeah, just gra grab some of the filling. Small amount, is that right? Small amount. You don't need a lot. Yeah, that's a lot, um, but um, that's all right. <laughs> that's a lot, but that's all right. Well, I'm Yorkshire, so you can. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and then we just press this up. So it's right. a bit like a little sort of Cornish pasty, isn't it? Really? I know. Well, who, where do you think they got it from? I think, that you, <laughs> think you nicked it from Cornwall all this time, <laughs> didn't you? Anyway, while we make the rest up, remember, if you'd like to the chance to question the show, they can call this number. That's 0716 41 41 41. Calls cost 6p a minute from a BT landline. Mobiles and other networks may vary. And a few of you to put your questions to us live a little later on. Also, today is a special treat. Ken will be sticking around after the show to do a live web chat. Right. Our web address <laughs> is bbc.co.uk forward slash food. So you can log on and put your questions straight to him. Right. Is there a knack to doing this, or am I just... Yeah, so it's just... It really doesn't matter because Good. The, the thing is, <laughs> <laughs> like that. Right, there we go. The best ones are made by grandmothers. Are they? <laughs> yes. Oh, my grandma was, was much better at making this yes, sort of stuff I'm, as well. I'm sure she was. <laughs> but literally, you pop these in here. Now, you've been a bit, like I said, you never stop, really. Well, I've, not been, any, you know. I've been busy. I have um, a new restaurant in Bangkok called yeah. Maison Chin. And it's and they're uh, relaunching this book. This this I mean, it's 25 years I since know, you know it's it. still people are not sick of me yet. No, the book still works. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, but this was this was actually one of the very first recipes you did, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, yeah. In fact, this was on one of the first programs, and we wanted to show people that they can make sort of home cooked dishes that you wouldn't see in restaurants because nobody would make this in a restaurant. It's just too much work, and uh, this is just perfect for that this type of. Home cooking. Whoa, that's yeah. hot. Okay. Now, right. What now, we want to do th now the cooking of this is, I think, is quite fascinating for this one because yes. not only are you going to fry it, you're going to steam it as well. Yes. At the same time. What we're going to do is add some oil to this. Right. Okay. So what's that? Just a little corn yeah, oil. Yeah, just corn, like any, any sort of vegetable oil is right. fine. Okay. And you put the dumplings along like that, and yep. we have some cooking. And what you do is you want to brown it, which is what's really nice about this is one side is crispy and the other side is really soft and they're juicy inside. And right. this is why you don't want to cook the filling as well because you, you want all that liquid to be inside the um, dumplings itself. Okay, yep. So you want to brown this and at this point I'm just going to add a little bit of, you can add some stock or just plain water to this. Okay, and a little bit of chicken stock or yes. something like that. Yeah. Just cover some water. That. Right. And we're just going to cover that. Lid off. Lovely. And cook it for how long? You want to cook it until they're nicely brown. And see, this is what's happening. It should. This is why they're called pot stickers. It right. sticks to the pot. Okay. You see that? It sticks a little bit, and you want that all caramelized. Okay. Now okay. you're going to do a dressing for this. What's our yeah. dressing? Yeah. Very, very easy. With the chili oil. Uh, no, chili oil is there. Right. Okay. Wrong. Wrong chili oil. That's sesame oil. <laughs> Stupid, aren't I? Yeah, no, I think I know what I'm doing, wouldn't I, really? Uh, it's okay, you're young. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, that's some soy sauce, a yep. little bit of uh, chili oil, in which I, I usually put a, quite a bit in it, and right. some rice vinegar. You want to just take that, mix that up, and this is really, there. there's clean there one right there. Thank you. Just mix that up. Uh, okay, we pour that in. And, and let's put these our pot stickers. Okay. There you go. I'll leave those to yes. put on. Yes. Super. So these should literally okay. just stick. Yes, yeah, stick to the pot. And yeah. and actually, you want that because, see, this is what gives that lovely Look color. Look at that. Lovely. Have you ever tried yummy. this way of cooking? No, I've not, so, but I quite yeah. fancy taking a few.